thing because definitely <clears throat> uh, our problem in most of our cases is to avoid extrusion, okay? So let's discuss, uh, again, we, we don't have a lot of time, uh, how we can get a molar uprighting with intrusion. And I have um, done this uh, uh, in different ways. One way is the intrusion with uh, double cantilevers. And uh, this case was treated, I think, in 95, so 25 years ago. And some of you were not born, maybe. Uh, but it's, I'm very happy because Katarina is going to show us the mechanics of this kind. So generation after generation, we can do the same thing. But she was helped by the cat, I guess. And uh, so this is a big advantage. I had no cat when I treated this case. So I want you to, we will see Katarina's case later on, but uh, let's imagine that you have a molar like this and you want to create a moment, okay? Think to the forces that can create a moment like this. It can be a force like this or a force like this. This is a very geometrical thing. I mean, if you have just two forces, you can create with each of these force a moment which is upright in the molar. What is the problem is that you don't have space here because this is the second molar and maybe you have uh, no third molar or maybe you have uh, uh, no space. And in all cases, even if you have space, the distance between the area where you can apply the molar, the, the force, is not so far from the CR. So the possibility to create a large more, uh, moment are not very, very big. So for this reason, uh, many years ago uh, with Professor Melson, we were uh, saying that it is much better to use what a few years later we were calling a two vector mechanics. And what is going to happen here, I will go very shortly here. We have this wire, which is the uprighting cantilever, which will be engaged somewhere here. And then there is a second cantilever that delivers an intrusive force. And you see that the vertical, uh, the second cantilever is attached distal to the molar. Now, uh, later on, some about 10 years later, I have published a paper on two vector mechanics. And what came out is that it's not really necessary to go and attach the second cantilever distal to the molar. You could attach it also mesial to the tube. And it's just a matter of creating a couple and you can get the same results. Anyway, at those time we were extending distally and this was more difficult by a practical point of view. So the effect were uh, six weeks later and you see the position of the second molar compared to how it was before. And you see that this part is going to uh, be intruded. Uh, nowadays, uh, honestly, I'm not using the system very much. Uh, although I would say that uh, this is a very good system in order to um, respect the biology. Because whenever we work with um, statically determined mechanics, <clears throat> Uh, we have uh, the a very constant force system, both on a qualitative and also qualitative uh, point of view. So this is a very good system, but it requires a lot of work, a lot of chair time, 
And uh, so usually uh, this is at the moment is not my favorite way of doing it. So we have some animation here uh, that are explaining to you a few things of this mechanics. So here we have uh, the two cantilevers and we could have uh, an intrusive force if the blue cantilever is activated more than the red one, okay? But we have also to think in the, in the 3D. So if you look at the two cantilevers from the frontal view, what would you see is that you are applying an intrusive force here on the buccal side and you are applying an extrusive force here, maybe at the midline. So if you have this condition, you are creating actually a big couple, big, big couple, which will make the molar tilt to the buckle. Sometimes it's perfectly okay because very often these molars are lingual inclined, but sometimes it's better if uh, we try to prevent this side effect or this effect. Uh, how do I do this if I want to do it? Instead of using a buckle cantilever, I'd rather use a lingual arch, which will generate the intrusive force here. So in this way, the couple will be reduced. And if you reduce also the length of the red cantilever, you can avoid any couple. So uh, this works very well to prevent uh, the molar uh, buckle displacement. Okay. Uh, 